2007 Toyota Highlander cabin and air filter. I'm going to start with the air filter. This air box has a few hoses on it. Sometimes they're color coded. If they're yours or not, I would recommend marking them. Uh, it's just an easy way to remember where they go. This is white and yellow. Um, you know, this one. So get yourself a small little flathead and you're going to gently just pry these off of these plastic nipples that they're on. Um, at this point, these, these are really brittle at this age of the car so be very careful if you break it like don't beat yourself up about it because they, they only can get so brittle before you break them when you pull the hose off you'll just have to get a new air box but we'll gently pull these off if you're good and gentle you should be able to get these hoses off just like that if you want to try it without getting these off you run the risk about uh breaking them off because the hoses will pull on them okay so after those are off sorry about that noise let's go ahead and get this clip off right here there's a clip right here Go ahead and get this clip off here one right there. You just use your thumb to pull it back and then um, There are these little notches on the bottom when you pull this up You kind of got to lift it up and then go forward with it to release those notches once those are out You should be able to lift this up a little bit um, You could you could loosen this 10 millimeter here and that'll give you a little more space and play I'll just do it. You don't have to loosen the bolt bolt all the way in fact don't do that but you can just loosen it enough to get you some some uh, pull here and just kind of sneak in there and pull this air filter out here's my air filter notice there's a little notch on the bottom right corner the other corners don't have that that's kind of like a guiding thing so here's my new one this is from the dealership this is a toyota filter and then uh this is this front right there with the little notch on the right front corner okay so we'll just kind of slide this in the front part right here um so I got it. Now I'm going to put my air box back on. Make sure your hoses don't get caught under the box. And then uh, put these back in first. You're going to have to lift it up and kind of push it down to get these in place. And then once those are in place, you should be able to shut this and then lock your tabs. Um, this one's not easy. It's kind of a struggle. It's one of the harder uh, air boxes. So just be patient. If you're having a hard time with it, it's not really your fault. It's just a kind of difficult air, air filter to replace. Get our hoses on nice and gentle. Uh, if you break these nipples off, uh, there's like a few tricks you could do to like glue the nipple back on. You just got to make sure the glue doesn't block the uh, passageway. All right, and then don't forget to uh, tighten this up if you, if you loosened it. So then we're going to open the uh, glove box here. Um, squeeze the size and lower this down right here. And then your air, or I mean your cabin filter is right there. So this has this broken cord part. I don't know where this comes into play. I think you might run into an issue with that. I don't know. Mine, the one, the car I'm working on has a broken one. Anyways, so here's your cabin filter. So once you get to this spot, uh, it has these little tabs. You want to just push on the tabs and then remove the door. You can just grab the uh, center tabs and just pull it straight out. Notice it says up on there. I'll show you what that's about in a sec. Let's pull this air filter out. I mean the cabin filter. Okay, I pull it out. Now keep this plastic tray, and uh, here's my new one. This is from the dealership. This is a Toyota dealer cabin filter. Put it in. You put it back in the tray, and then you'll insert the tray back into place. Now um, there's a little spot on the tray that might say up with the arrow pointing up. Just make sure that's pointing up when you put this in. That's just for airflow and like uh, filter efficiency. Get this in. That should look like that. And then when you put this on, it should go on pretty easy. Uh, sometimes it could be a pain, but they should just you should just push it straight in. It should clip into place. All right, got that into place. Now again, I'm sorry, I don't know what you'll have to do to remove this part. Um, to get this back in, you'll just push it up and then the sides will kind of fold in and then, um, you know, it should go to work. Pretty good.